and welcome back to Crits and Coffee. I'm Barely Caffeinated, the DM and host for tonight's session of uh, Vandelver and Below, the Shattered Obelisk. Tonight, I am joined by a few of my friends here. Um, we got Baka Zombie. Oh, hello. I'm Baka Zombie. If you want to introduce yourself, plugs, and, oh. you know, all the stuff. Oh, I suppose. Um... Yes, I'm Baka Zombie. I play uh, Fania, uh, Centaur Druid, uh, Blighted Druid, Circle Blight Druid. Um, uh, you can, if you if you want to like listen to what things I do and see things I do, you can follow me on Twitter at Zombie Baka. Uh, and also, I DM another game that has a lot of these uh, fine folks in it over on the channel Swindler's Den on YouTube, uh, called Glory of the Giants. So you can join us over there if you want some more. Of this good old D and D content. Did Done. you say who you were playing? Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I missed that. Sorry, my brain must have turned off. Oh, Speaking of important I am. fine folks, though, we have Doctor Phage. Oh. Hello, I'm Doctor Phage or Adam. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Lil Growth. I'm in a bunch of things. Every time I think about it, I get a bit stressed. Um, I'm also on Swindler's Den. I'm on IDL. I, I mean, I guess I'm here. That's only three things, but it feels like more every time I think about it. Um, tonight, I'm playing Mal, the Tiefling Monk. Very good. Uh, next, we have Kyle. It's me, Kyle. You can find me over your mom. Um, I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, I do not have socials. You can't find me anywhere. Please don't try find me. But today I will be playing Amaris, a colorful tiefling. And lastly, and speaking of culture, we have Bumblescum. Hey, it's your boy Bumblescum. It never stops feeling weird being the last person to, intro to be introduced on this because I run the IDL and I have to hear the rest of them mention it uh, on the way to me, and that's all I've got to promote. So it's just <laughs> IDL for the hundredth time. Uh, I'm playing Shadow, uh, a very lanky, spooky, uh, can't hold his liquor, boxing type guy. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> All right. Uh, and last time, our party uh, decided to set up camp after a long combat uh, with some goblins. And they set up camp about an hour away so that they didn't have any more run-ins with those goblins. After, uh, actually before leaving, Fania discovered that Sildar, having been bitten by the spider, seemed to have resemblance of the blight that she is all too familiar with. Throughout the night, Sildar began experiencing strange behaviors of laughing in his sleep, uh, incoherent thoughts, and things of that nature. Uh, throughout that night, our party members experienced some things on their own. Uh, Mal, a dragon. Fania, running from the blight in her dreams. Shadow, losing Gundren after just seeing him in the Iron Flagon Inn. After their last day of travel, our, far our party... Wow, farty. Our party finally uh, encountered Fandolin, a small town surrounded by a spiked fence and a couple of watchtowers. As they approached the watchtower, the guards in red cloaks uh, demanded payment for entering the town. Dissatisfied, Amaris and Mal piped up, showing their distaste to the entry tax. Through some intimidation from Amaris, they allowed the group to go through. And after entering the town, Sildar stopped at Barthens to deliver the supplies, and the party continued to the Stonehill Inn to procure some lodgings for the night. Only to be defeated by the fact that they had no money. Sildar came in just a little bit later and ended up paying for everybody's lodgings for the week. Uh, during that, Shadow decided to have a conversation with an old drow in the corner of the inn. His name, Darren Edermath, and he told Shadow of his displeasure with the Red Brands and had a quest for him if he could dispatch of these ruffians. Suddenly, a war horn sounded and a large boulder came blasting through the wall. Upon investigation, the party, uh, the party found out that an orc was missing his daughter and scouts tracked her back to this town. 
He demanded that she be returned within two days, or they would pillage the village and would kill anyone who left. And at that point, is there anything that our party members would like to do before calling it a night? Um, I think I would convene quickly with our group. I know, I think Fania and Amaris got hit real hard by that rock. Um, but uh, just kind of like as we're walking back to the inn, just say like, um, so like, we like the red brands totally took the orc, right? Like we're, we all understand that. Like that, that's definitely what happened, right? Maybe. I, 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 I don't know. Um, could they have? I mean, they were just being really cagey about everything when we were talking to him there and the, like the whole entrance tax thing. Just feels like it's up their alley that they're behind this. <laughs> I want to do something dumb. <laughs> um... <laughs> um... Because there's some of those uh, guys up in the pillars, right? Not pillars. In the watchtowers? Yeah. Yeah, watchtowers. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Just standard watch, like good guards they are. Mm. My Definitely. dumbass just wants to be like, hey, did you guys do that? <laughs> I will say last I had... time, I think, yeah, Mal... Um, had a hunch. Yeah, I had asked if they knew anything about it, and they were not being fully honest with me, or something to that effect. Right. I Did I inside check that? Yeah. I failed. <laughs> <laughs> I know I did. I forget if someone else also... I'm pretty sure I failed since I didn't write it down. And as you guys are walking back to the end, too, you can see Toblin already outside... Uh, taking some two by fours and just nailing him to his inn until he can get it fully repaired. You know, um, yeah. Thankfully, the uh, the boulder shouldn't have messed with the all's room. So, feel free to head inside. I'll just finish up boarding this up. Mess with my body. I'm well, an ouchie, brother. <laughs> Question. I, I ain't got nothing. Uh, for that. But is Darren Edermath uh, still there? Uh, he followed um, who was Townmaster Harbin, which you guys haven't officially met, but he did follow to there. So he's probably. Oh, so he's, he's, he's around. Okay, okay. Yeah, he's around okay, that okay. area uh, still, hanging out with Sildar and the Townmaster. Um, I do have something I want to do, but I, I want to have it. It's been a long day. I'm. I want to have it tomorrow. <laughs> Anything else? Yes. Oh, I mean, I, 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 I guess I want to do what I was trying to do to begin with before the boulder interrupted, if I can. Sure. Uh, yeah. So I, I mean, I'll, I'll. I'll like well, I guess it depends. Is is Darren just standing around talking with the town master and and Sildar? Is he going back in for drinks? What what's his what does it look like he's doing? Yeah, at this point you can tell he's definitely on guard. Uh, and as you remember from the last time, he does have a sword at his waist. Yeah. Um and he's just he's conversing with Sildar and conversing with the town master at this time, trying to okay. ease relations at this point. Alright, then I'll oh wait, I'll save it for another time then. I'll just go to my room. Malfania? Are the rooms the... upstairs or downstairs? They would be upstairs. Or on the same floor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go there, but not like it. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Um, if nothing else, I'm going to go ahead and pull you guys over to this map. Um, so if nothing else, uh, you guys find your rooms and um, 
Unfortunately, due to the damage, they aren't f able to fully see to anything that you need, you know, such as bathing or anything like that for the night. Um, is there anything you, you guys would like to do in your rooms before... Otherwise, we'll just fast forward to the next morning. Also, if you didn't, don't forget you guys do level up to level 2 at this point. Uh, yeah. So if you forgot about that or neglected it, go ahead and do that now. I've neglected myself. <laughs> God. Kyle. That's A-OK. -okay. What? <laughs> Wait, am I? I am level 2. I know you are. <laughs> I don't have anything to do uh, before the night's over. Okay. Um, um, if wanna, nothing else... Uh, is there a window no, no. to the room? Yeah, there's windows. Uh, what's outside my window? Um, from outside your window... Go ahead and roll a perception check. We'll see what you can see. It's dark out. And you don't have dark vision, do you? No, I'm a little blind baby. <laughs> um... It's an 11. With an 11, you don't see much. Uh, your guys' rooms are oh. on the southeast side of the... Um, southeast side of the the inn. Uh, and you can just see a little building over to the southeast there. Not fully sure what it is. Just looks like maybe a, a house. Is that a lock on the window? Uh, no. Oh, no. Um, hmm. What's the, what's the furniture situation in here? Uh, you have <laughs> a bed and a table and a chair. Okay. I can't really block the window with those. <laughs> What is going on? <laughs> it's fine. It's, a, it's normal in here. <laughs> Everything happening in this room is normal. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try to get the table up against the window. I like, put it on its side so it's tall. Put that up against the window. And then like put the chair up against that. And then I'll push the bed in front of the door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, <laughs> make me a survival check just to see how well you right. can figure this. Uh, uh, that's a 24. Dang. Yeah, fair enough. You're able to uh, lock down the fort for the night, so to say. Yeah. And so it's, it's sturdy. Like... Nothing's getting in or out. Okay, good. Once she's. You know, in got case the birding. In place. The building where to burn yeah, or something. Burning. That's less of a concern. Uh, <laughs> she, she, if she makes sure everything's secure, uh, she will um, hesitantly like fold her legs underneath herself and then like lean against the bed uh, so that she's propped up uh, and sleeps laying down tonight. Hmm. Okay. Anybody else? No, I just go to bed. <laughs> You're not afraid somebody's going to come and try and kill you in your sleep? No, I mean, I, I, I locked the door, but... <laughs> but the window. Yeah. I'm snoozing. All right, if nothing else, uh, you guys go to sleep, wake up in the morning, uh, come downstairs, and you can see Sildar enjoying some, uh, some breakfast foods and things like that. And as you guys come down the stairs, he kind of beckons for you to come over to the table. Uh, yeah. What? What? What's up? What's up? Good morning. Good morning. I uh, I've gathered some information while you all went to sleep. I talked to the few of the locals about the uh, the incidents going on, and while some of them are too afraid to speak up, they uh, kept making mention of the um, the sleeping giant in over to the east and uh, that's where the red brands seem to be having a uh, a gathering they seem to gather there frequently so perhaps we could gather some information from them uh, great yeah 
Yeah, we can definitely do that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't want to hold you up, but maybe you should enjoy a nice hot meal before you head over there. Anybody it's enjoying a nice breakfast? It's okay, he's paying for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm broke. I'm broke. Now you got money. Now you have 25 gold. You pay for your own oh, meal. Shit, I lied. <laughs> did your background not give you money, Kyle? Or did you just choose not to have any money? I think I chose... Um... You bought your equipment oh, instead of... my camera's going weird. I, I think I chose equipment. Hmm. Hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, Mal tucks into breakfast and then um, looks around at everyone ready to head out. All right. If nothing else for this morning, uh, you guys head over to the Sleeping Giant Inn, which uh, Sildar kind of gives you directions for. And currently, you don't see anybody outside. Uh, do you guys head inside? Yeah, uh, I, yeah I would not. <laughs> nah, it's a, uh, isn't it uh, another <laughs> inn? <laughs> it's another inn. Hello. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> I, yeah, Shadow just goes in. Well, All right. Mal wants to... Oh, I mean, sorry. sneak Most around, but in the sense of, like, seeing if there are other entrances and exits to this Why place. Why are you sneaking? Ooh, well, <laughs> I, made, I made a cutesy little thing for you guys, so... Cute. Cutesy. Hopefully my stuff didn't get messed Cutie up, patootie. so I don't, I don't know exactly... Yeah, okay. I can see okay. a window. Yeah. There's people inside. Yeah, you can. <clears throat> They're doing That's weird it. things. There you go. So <laughs> you guys you guys can do what you would like. Uh you do hear some rowdiness going on from inside of the inn. Is, is this a door? That's not a door, right? <laughs> yep. That's a door. Oh, it's a you door? Can, okay. You, you can left click it and it should yeah. open. Oh. I'm oh, I, that the... would be a awning thing okay hello sorry I, I stepped in and as you enter inside you see a thing a thing uh oh, no yeah you can see a a, a um a dwarf standing at the back counter uh you know serving up these Men in red cloaks, scarlet red cloaks, and so serving uh, up men. <laughs> yeah, serving up men to red cloaks. Mm -hmm, my and, favorite. Uh, <laughs> yeah, serving up their breakfast, and they're being rowdy. You know, punching each other's knuckles and things of that nature. Things that nefarious people up do. Men do. We punch yeah. each other's knuckles. Man. <laughs> this feels That's like right. a lot of Kens. And Shadow and Amaris, as you guys enter into here, they all just kind of turn around and give you a look. Uh. All staring you down. <laughs> Everything stops. They all look at us. <laughs> Music stops. Because we're baddies. Now you may be wondering how we got ourselves here. <laughs> <laughs> um, Amaris is gonna... Oh, um... I... I... We aren't interrupting anything, are we? Oh no, little lady. Why don't, why don't you come over here and join us? Uh, <laughs> wrong answer. Shadow, <laughs> Shadow uh, uh, just starts leaving you behind. <laughs> what the heck? Go, thinking you're going to go over and talk to them, and I go, I go up to the bar. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> The man by Sailor sort of starts playing. Um, <laughs> I, I was wondering if you could help us. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, and one of them stands up and kind of pulls his chairs out for you to sit down at. Ooh, green Ooh. flag. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it here. Let's play. Um. 
I willingly walk into the situation. I don't know how to work. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, miss. Go, go ahead and t take a seat at the table. I, I sit down at the table. No, how the heck do I do? How do, how do I tell? How do I ask them? How do I? How do I make them tell the truth? Give the highest charisma here. Get to it. <laughs> I cast sleep. Um. <laughs> panic sleep. <laughs> panic sleep. Uh. Would Would you guys know anything orc. about that um orc commotion last night? Hmm. Well, yes, a few a few of us was was on guard, uh, but you know what we do know is that uh, you're causing quite a bit of trouble for us, and our, our boss, our boss Glassstaff, ain't ain't too happy. I I I just came here. I didn't I didn't do anything. What did I do? Well, we were we was told that. Uh, you uh, didn't pay our, our town tax. Oh, that couldn't have been me. That must have been someone else. Well, you see, we, we work really hard. And uh, we, we need that money. Cast like girl boss. Cast like girl boss. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, again, I don't recall. I, I don't recall it, that ever happening. Um, one of them takes out a knife and stabs it into the table. Well, maybe this will jog your memory then. Okay, if I nice. recall correctly, we asked who is in charge about it and see if it was a real tax or not. And your men decided to let us in just fine without actually taking. If anything, you might be wondering about that employee review you've been uh, 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 messing up on. It's not her fault that they didn't collect it. It's theirs. Uh, no need to be stabbing furniture for no reason. It takes money to repair those things. And as you're talking, this red brain walks over to you with his short sword out and points it up at your neck. I don't believe we were talking to you. We was talking to the pretty lady over there. My God! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop! What you should be talking to is your own men, because they're so incompetent that they can't collect money from a weak little girl. Okay, hold up. <laughs> Full Kyle voice. <laughs> Wait. Now, if you don't mind. <laughs> We're trying to do business in here. If you want to go gabbling about, then go about it. But leave us out of it. If you're if you ain't got anything actual to say, then just go on and get your drinks. You know, I, I don't like your tone of voice. Uh, um, uh, what are you thinking, gentlemen, boys? Gentlemen, gentlemen, jump, gentlemen. Please. <laughs> Let's all calm down. Have a drink. We're here to have fun. Can I can I do some kind of like a insight check to like size him up? Damn. Sure. Sure. <laughs> we don't even have we're half of the party. <laughs> I know that's what I was trying to size him up. I uh so I got an at twenty four a twenty two. Ooh, mm. Okay, never mind. Shoot. Yeah, um, you know, human man. Uh, he's obviously got his short sword, short sword uh, pointed at your neck, uh, wearing some, you know, leather armor. Nothing super fantastic or anything like that, but, um, you know, he knows how to handle a sword a little bit better than you know your common person would. Okay. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Um, and as you guys are standing here with 
you know, intensity going on. You see these few red brands in the back of the room start to move around. Um, seeing them surrounding me, I'm gonna. Can I go over here? Yeah, I think you were sitting down. So yeah, that's yeah. Okay. Listen, listen. No need to get so um aggressive. It's and then uh, Amaris is gonna start talking to Mal telepathically. Are we going to do this? Mal's <laughs> sneaking around outside. <laughs> I don't know how much of this conversation he's heard. I thought um, you were looking to hit through the window this entire time. No, I like I didn't want to do too much because I didn't know how Barely wanted to handle it. Because Mal is like going around to see if there are other entrances into. Okay, this well, um, if you, uh, I'll let you respond. What would I have found other entrances as this conversation would have been happening? Roll a perception check. Okay. I'll say, um, because Mal just kind of started going off on his own and I didn't say anything. Fania's just like curiously following behind him, <laughs> clutching her staff, just like watching <laughs> to see what he's doing. <laughs> um, um, I got a dirty 20 perception. I, I lied. Scratch everything I said to you. It's a <laughs> creature that I can see. Mm. I do not see mm. you right now. That's there is a window here. I mean, <laughs> this is a window. So oh, you, you can see. Yeah, that's, I can see yeah. Fania, but not Mal. <laughs> yeah, Fania Mal's in a wall shit. space. Um, yeah, with uh, Dirty Twenty, I would say that you see that most of these windows are iron barred. And, you know, from this side, there are no entrances. However, uh, and again, just due to the amount of time over on the northeast side over here, there is another door to uh, into the the end. <laughs> See you guys sneak around. Yeah. <laughs> just the trail of green. <laughs> <laughs> I think because of the map, it's harder to yeah. go through walls. So I went around the bottom. But I yeah, think we, we, like, we couldn't like, go through the walls the and the side of it. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. Okay. Instead, I will be talking to Shadow. I can see you. You're within. That's thirty feet. Yeah, that's thirty feet. Um, and let's go ahead, just to kind of manage the chaos, let's go ahead and roll initiative. Again, you guys don't have to fight if you choose not to. Uh, this is just... I feel like it's going to have to. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's hope I do this right. Uh, bum -bum. Bum -bum. Cool. I oh, I works. suppose I should roll, huh? Yes. Yes, please. Whoa. All those um. question marks. <laughs> oh, it's your I question marks for you? That's funny. Yeah. yeah. It's just question marks every time you secret roll. Oh. So that's not... Oh, would you like me to roll on... I just type second. mine in I... the chat so that it's there. Oh, okay. That helps. Yeah, if you guys could do that for me, that would... That'd be sweet. Type it in or roll, actually roll. <laughs> Every time somebody types and zooms in. Yep, <laughs> they no, are. Yeah. I don't know why that is. You know, I can't see Shadow. It just zoomed in. <laughs> sorry about that. Oh, yeah, I, goodness. I couldn't do math for the longest time. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's doing that. I mean, I kind of like it, to be honest. but Yeah, it's, like, it's just showing that that character is doing something. Yeah, it's an option in the configurations, I think. To oh, show I'm turning that off right now. But... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jump. I kind of like it. I like it, but I know it will get annoying at some point, so I'll be trying to do something else. Also, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven yeah, tablet? Token no. speaker you can turn off. Yeah. Wait. What's this? Uh, bum, 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 bum. 
It's fun watching uh, just your mice go, like, yeah. <laughs> flip around in the darkness. <laughs> I'm sure the viewers love seeing just yeah. names <laughs> flying around the screen. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not going to lie. Anytime I saw a Foundry game, I, I kind of did like watching it, but... <laughs> maybe, maybe, I like maybe, circle players. Well, maybe I'm just strange. Talking. Yeah. Um, anyway, so yeah, managing the chaos. Uh, Mal, you are up. <clears throat> um, having reached this door now, would I have heard kind of this tail end of the conversation? Uh, roll another perception. Ooh, not as good. That's only a seven. Yeah, it's a little hard to hear. Um, through these walls and through the door. Um, I think then I am just going to hold my action to essentially dash in if it sounds like combat has started. Okay. Otherwise, I'm just, like, hunkered down next to the store. Or can I, like, try this door to see if it's locked? Does it seem like, does it seem like a door that could lock? It could lock. Um, but it is unlocked right now. I'll, I'll give you that. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just like posed, ready to, uh, dash in if combat, if it sounds like combat is starting. Okay. Um, and up next is this red brand who is going to also surround shadow. And then that red brand is going to stay there. Um, Amaris, your turn. Um, Shadow, I don't know if you're looking at Amaris, but Ar Amaris is going to look at you and ask you, are we going to do this? Can, can I respond telepathically? Is that a... Yes. Okay. <laughs> um... <laughs> yep, we have a telepathic connection for two minutes. Okay, okay. Within four miles of each other. Ooh. We should have run infinite? them up before we split up. <laughs> is that infinite or is it like a once a day thing? It just has one bonus action. Hmm. Okay, cool. Here's my thinking. I'll challenge them all to arm wrestling. <laughs> And if they beat me, they'll pay for their drink. Try to cut the tension some. Strange how far they're willing to go just over a little bit of uh, money at this early in the morning. But I'm thinking maybe if I, if we just tune it down, because I'm, I'm a little bit more concerned with your positioning. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, Don't forget they, they did mention uh, that their boss, Glassstaff, doesn't like having them in town either. Having you guys yeah. in town, sorry. We don't like your kind here. Anything else, Amaris? Um, yeah. It's okay. I have something for these gentlemen around me. But are you ready? If things go south, well... I'm going to make things go south right now. <laughs> In my line of work, you have to always be ready for things to go south. Cool. Arms of Adar. Oh. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> it's like that. It's like that. <laughs> okay. We arm wrestling arms with of Adar. Knife. <laughs> yeah. Wrestle these arms. Um, uh, and you can draw <laughs> templates. I can draw? Yeah, the... Uh... Oh, what is it? Is it under drawing tools? Drawing tools? Or is it I think I can just cast a spell on... Yeah, I can, I can just cast it. I don't think we have drawing tools. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, let me see here. Which department are... Ba -ba -ba. Creatures within 10 feet of you in the area must make a strength saving throw and a failed save. Okay. Oh, okay. It's not something that saves. I'm mixing it up with something. Okay. Uh, strength saving throw. Oh, sure hope these guys are not strong. 
And where are you aiming? Yeah, last time I cast sleep, it just gave me the circle. Hold on, let me try. Yeah, I thought you guys had access to like a. Uh, where there is show. one. There is one. Hold on. Okay. Um. Click drag. One second. Oh, uh, it is measuring tools. Yeah, measuring controls. Sorry, I don't know how to. Okay. Arms of Hadar is 10 feet centered on yourself. So it's everyone within 10 feet of you. Is that okay, all that's... around? That's, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah. It's one higher. I just Morris. heard one of the people in the music. Yeah. Go, that's amazing. <laughs> bloody <laughs> and <then he> <laughs> <laughs> I know, I've, I've, I had to like turn up their vault like that music so I was like are they having an actual conversation <laughs> yeah, they're, like, now? Talking. <laughs> yeah they are uh, but Kyle your, your thing would be one bigger one bigger yeah yeah so it's, yeah, it's, it's within ten feet. 10 feet of you yeah because that's only 5 feet of so you're getting you're getting uh, all the ones I don't have <laughs> what's the save God, I'm making another one stop it <laughs> stop it it's a ah, I'm gonna, okay I'm gonna hide this one <laughs> <laughs> What's the D? Oh, 14. Okay, that's a fail. Like that? Oh, you have to uh, double click yeah. it to edit. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. 10 feet. 10 foot yeah. radius. Uh, okay, I'm just going to put these. Also, I, I would have done a I would have done a square because D&D &D 5e fail, fail, doesn't fail. care about uh, corners. Yes. Okay, yeah, so you got me. you got three fails and two passes. You know what? That's a passing grade. Not really. <laughs> Not actually. <laughs> like, it's good enough for me. Um, sorry, they take half, so I need to roll two d six. Okay, the ones who fail take 8 points of damage and can't take reactions. The ones who succeeded take 4 and can take reactions. <clears throat> and I can't cast a spell on the cantrip in the same turn, right? Um, you can, yes. Yeah. I can? Yeah, but you already used your bonus action for your turn. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Most cantrips aren't bonus actions to begin with, but there are some, obviously. Dang, yeah, it's I just you can't do two spells. Yeah, two. I could have used two spell that. slots on a turn, effectively. Yeah. Why'd well, I have to open my mouth? I could have. Arms of Hadar, Thunderclap. Okay, um. Nope, that is my turn. <laughs> Alright. Um, is this enough ruckus for me at least to open this door and enter the battlefield? That depends. What does Amaris's Arms of Hadar look slash sound like? I'm gonna be real honest with you. I've seen the Arms of Hadar once, and it was in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> <laughs> you can flavor it to whatever you like, within reason. I, mean. I assume it would just be... I, I don't have a flavor for it. It would just be like, long, dark tentacles. You could you could Coming like have down. you could flavor it to be like a flesh eating virus, I think. That, that just completely kills them all in one go. Whoa. He said however you want, so I think that makes sense. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> go could, with that. Actually, you could flavor them to be giant sunflowers rather than tentacles. You know, <laughs> whatever you want. I don't know. I don't no, know I who Mars is. <laughs> I want to be creepy. It's gonna be black tentacle. <laughs> <laughs> no one Amaris is in too. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'll <laughs> say I'll say fair you enough. Know. You can you can hear the the stuff going on. Great. So I will then um, move in. I'll just I don't have an action, so I'll just move in next to that guy. Alright. Shadow. <clears throat> okay. Uh seeing that happen. Um the guy who's got his, like, knife up to me, um, I'll, I'll be like, you made yourself some real bad choices today. A bonus action, I'll go into a rage. Okay. Um, and then I will 
no, I guess, yeah, I was gonna say that I'll headbutt him <laughs> for my unarmed strike. Okay. And you're hitting the one on your right? Uh, yeah, yeah, the one who had his blade up to my neck. Okay. Um, so I've got, so I just gotta see what, what I get from Rage real quick. Um, plus two to strength damage and half damage from my magical yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's just the damage. That's what I'm uh, That is a 17. A 17 will hit, yes. Okay. Um. Uh, that's nine bludgeoning damage as I headbutt him in his nose. All right. Anything else? Uh, I'm gonna. Oh, that's not what I want to do. I am going to slide down over here. Okay. And it is as you headbutt him, uh, he is going to take a couple of swings at you. And that is. Yep. Does a 16 hit? 16 does not hit. Mm. Well, so he headbutts you and he tries to swing his sword uh, and you duck underneath, even with your tall stature. And he, uh, kind of by shock, takes his blade and tries to swing it back at you again. And that misses as well. Yeah. I, I do just... have a shield on my left hand, so I'm easy. So he tries to go for that backhand, just immediately just smack it out of his way. All right. Uh, and as this red brand sees Mal running through this door, he turns around and takes a swing at Mal. Bring it on. For a 21 to hit. That does hit. Yes. Yes. I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> And that'll be four piercing damage as he stabs uh, it through your shoulder. Teacher, one more thing. Uh, yeah. Since that had that guy, did that guy go? Before, what, what what's that guy's initiative? The one I hit, but it. Uh, this one. Yeah. What's his? Oh, he's after he's, me, right? He's right after you. Yep. Sorry, I do do an extra two d six because he hasn't gone when I first hit him. Oh, anyway. geez. Okay, then yeah, he's. So that is my surprise attack. He is. Nothing more surprising than the headbutt. Um, that'll be four more bludgeoning damage. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's still up. He's not looking great, yeah. but he is. He's yeah. still there. I uh, really realized if I have this feature, I might as well use it. <laughs> yeah, so Mal, you get stabbed in the shoulder, and he swiftly pulls it back out to attack you again. Uh, and this one is a 12. Misses. Dive out of the way of this one. And you move out of the way and um, just misses. Airball. Uh, this red brand is going to step up to Amarnus. Now, I thought we told you to come come with us and uh, not cause any trouble. But since you did this... Well, you're nice. stinky and ugly. Rude. <laughs> He'll swing at you. <laughs> ah! The consequences of my action. A dirty 20. <laughs> nah, it doesn't hit. <laughs> and that will do five piercing damage. Uh. And as he pulls his blade out, he goes to stab you one more time. What the heck? For a 23. Yeah. <laughs> and this one will be eight piercing damage. Maximum damage. Nice knowing ya, Amaris. <laughs> Still up? Yeah. Oh, that's good. All right. And last red Whoa. right before Fania, <laughs> who's patiently waiting. Uh, this one is going to turn around and attack Mal. And I close my stuff. I gotta stop closing my stuff. 
for a 10, which I'm assuming misses. Nope. And a 16. Uh, misses as well, parrying all of the blows with his spear. Very cool. Fania. Fena is muted. She was shot through oh, the throat with her an arrow. I've been saying things too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and so many good quips. <laughs> yeah. Um, so fully not aware of what the situation was up to this point. Just had been following Mal around while he's testing doors and windows and stuff. I'm not wondering why he didn't go through the front door with everybody else. Uh, suddenly he bursts in and she sees all of this combat happening. Uh, and in a rush of panic, she like goes to reach out uh, to try and help, and her heart pumps uh, with with this panic and the uh, the um, uh, uh, what's this called? Uh, 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 what am I all about? <laughs> what's I my character about? The blight. The, the blight. blight. Oh, okay. <laughs> pumps through her her blood, and um, in the same it's the same radius as Arms of Hadar. Uh, the uh, floorboards kind of start to mold and crack as Defiled Ground comes out. Um, I'll defile the ground that's also under the arms of Hadar. So, uh, um, corruption lasts for a minute. Uh, uh, corrupted area is difficult terrain for all creatures that are hostile to you. Additionally, when a creature in the area takes damage from an attack spell or spell for the first time on a turn, it takes an extra 1d4 necrotic damage. I can move this patch if I want to. Uh, so, uh, 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 Mars, don't get hit because you'll be taking extra necrotic damage as well. But every, every, all the other people on the first time each turn that they take damage, they'll get an additional 1d4 necrotic. Um, okay. That's my bonus action. Ooh. And unfortunately, I think my action is going to be dodge. Because <laughs> 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 I don't. Uh, Noel, should I use a spell here? I could really screw up Amaris here. <laughs> it's just Fireball. drop area of effects over on top yeah. of her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's the unfortunate thing. Everything else I have is area of effects right now, so I will just dodge. I wouldn't worry too much about her because she has two people going before her, so I think she's just going to take a ton of necrotic damage. <laughs> sure. <laughs> um... Again, I'll I'll just dodge. Okay. Save my Just do it. Do it. Do you want me to? <laughs> Man. I'm <clears throat> <laughs> Unless unless you know Fania really wants to. No, no. It's fine. <clears throat> Mal can go. Um which of these two in front of me look more injured? Or is there a difference? Uh, give me a medicine investigation. Uh, I should have saved it for my attack roll because I just got a natural 20. Oh. This one. Which one? I was on a different page. <laughs> uh, the lower one. Lower one? Great. Yep. Um, cool. Glad I used my nat 20 on that. Um, I'm going to take a spear attack at that dude. <laughs> Didn't matter. I got another natural twenty. Ooh, yes. Nice. Roll that damage. Um. Okay. So this is going to be three d six because I get the normal critical, and then with piercer I get um one additional critical and a d four of necrotic. This dude is so dead. <laughs> um. Five nine eleven. 16 piercing damage and 2 necrotic damage. Alright. Still standing. No, I'm kidding. How do you kill him? Um, I think it is Mal didn't have the intention of coming in and murdering people in here. Um, but just with the adrenaline of being attacked, seeing that Fania is surrounded by all of these people just goes, like, falls into old training and just absolutely, like, up through the mouth again of this uh, red brand, spearing his brain. All right. 
Um, and then I'm going to <laughs> wheel around and use Flurry of Blows on this other guy. Um, I think that one's probably going to miss. That's an 10 and a 19. A 10 will miss. A 19 will hit. Okay. Um, this one's going to be necrotic because it's the first time I've hurt him. Ooh, okay. Um, nine piercing damage and one necrotic damage. All right. Very, very um, good. Anything else? I'm not going to move because I don't want to step onto the nasty ground and take extra necrotic damage. So yeah, that'll be everything. Okay. Uh, Shadow nice in, a, in a fisticuffs with this red brand over here. He is going to roll to attack. ba ba da ba a 22. 22 will hit. And that will be seven piercing damage as he drives uh, is it, his... Is it uh, when doing in half, are we rounding up or rounding down? I, I don't remember. Uh, round oh. up. Round up. Okay, so I'll... So, wait. Yeah, so they're doing four damage to me. Four piercing. Yes. And then he quickly pulls his short sword back out and goes to stab you one more time. For a 21. 21 hits. And that will be three damage. Three piercing. Three piercing. So two, two damage. Yep, yep. Yeah, and as he's driving these these uh, short swords through you, uh, just cackling a little bit. Uh, up next, we got Amaris's buddy here, who oh, is no. going to drive these short swords through Amaris. Well, short sword, multiple times. Whoa. For a gnat. Nothing. Brother. It's just an eight. It's an eight. No. <laughs> <laughs> but then it goes to try to stab you one more time for a 17. Silvery barbs. Yeah, that hits. Ooh. Ooh. And that just gives me disadvantage, right? Yep, you roll again, take the lowest. It's not. It's technically not disadvantage. You just roll again, take the lowest, and right. I give advantage to... Well, the next, the next one was a nat 20, so... Well, <laughs> so you take the lower one. All right... And that is maximum damage for an eight. Why do you have to roll max? <laughs> Sorry. Well, uh, on, I would have. On, on I think side. the lowest you needed to roll was a four for me to survive. <laughs> but I am down. <laughs> well, so. on your next death save, you have advantage. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so that red brand goes and drives the short sword through Amaris as she begins to drop to the ground. And as Are she does so... Arms of Hadar still up or no? No, yeah. it's an instant effect. Yeah. It's an instant effect? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, this red brand, seeing Amaris falls, decides to uh, take the other threat in the room and goes to attack Mal. Yeah, bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on, come on. Uh, 23. Yeah. For six damage. Okay, okay, okay. We're fine. We're fine. And then one more. Nine, which I'm assuming misses. Does miss. It does miss. All right. Uh, Amaris, make me a private death save. And with advantage. With advantage. And Amaris, as you're dropping to the ground, uh, you have recollections of your hometown and your family, and you can smell the sweet 
sweet, savory smell of fresh baked bread. Honestly, not bad. Um, saving throw, or is this a flat con roll? Sorry. Uh, it's a it's death just saving a... throw. Which yep, is, you just roll a d20, like, yeah. and it's oh, whatever so number sorry. you roll. Yeah. But you get to roll it twice, yeah. Am I able to whisper you on or is it... boundary? You should be able to. If you go to your chat, I think there's a drop down thing and you can choose between public GM, blind self. And I think that sends it to me automatically. If not, then we'll figure that out another time. Yeah, the, the With... private GM. I will already shoot. rolled, so I'm just going to DM you. <laughs> Oh, okay. With how we're doing advantages, is, he, is it he rolls twice or he adds two? To it's the, the first first step. Is the first one is rolling twice, and then okay, okay. And then, yeah. and then I, it's I forgot twice if it's plus two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So essentially, if there was something else that gave him advantage, then it would be okay. advantage yeah. plus two. Yep. Yep. I wasn't sure if they were both together or just got rid okay. of it. All right. Uh, Shadow. All right, um, just kind of laying into the one that's in front of me, I think, uh, just to make sure I get You're talking the, the, on. the one to your west? So, no, no, the one who I was having punching. Oh, okay. Yeah, just to make sure I get uh, in on that. Um, does a 16 hit? Absolutely. Yes. Oh. That is 11 bludgeoning damage. How do you kill this red brand? Um, yeah, so like he like I, this guy's stabbing me in the back, and I'm completely ignoring him. And I just like this guy he like made a fool of himself trying to hit me. So like I just immediately just like uppercut him and he like launch him over the bar because I could push people five feet also. So <laughs> I just launch him over there. Okay. And then I turn around to the other guy behind me. <laughs> hey, I um, mean you guys don't have to, but do let me know if you're doing. Um... Uh, non-lethal damage. No pressure there. So far. <laughs> he, put a, he put a sword to my throat. I don't I don't think I uh, <laughs> particularly care. I think you guys are messing with the wrong people there, boy. Oh, after I just killed his friend and turned around to him. <laughs> That's my turn. That's the right numbers by a lot. <laughs> All right, Mal's good friend, the West Red Brand, is gonna take some yep. some stabby stabs at you. And that's yep. it's funny. That's just his legal name. He didn't. Uh, <laughs> that's right. He joined us <laughs> coincidentally. Uh, an eighteen, and a nineteen. Both of those hit me. TPK. That'll be three damage. Okay. okay. And max damage for eight. Yep. So uh, that brings max. eleven. Hey, I would. So Mal drops, or begins to drop rather. Oh, let's see. This red brand, seeing both of those threats drop, heads over to Shadow. And is going to take some stabby stabs. A nat 20. Okay. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, I can't see him. Shit. No. Nope. Oh, wait, no, I can see I can see the guy. So I'll silver barbs it. Okay. Yeah, because you can wait, always no. give Mal... I haven't gone again, so I can't. Never mind. Oh, Sorry. Okay. I don't have my reaction back. Oh, yeah. Right. It's and just been so long. The second one is a 17. <laughs> a 17? Rippy yep. dippy. Damage? Sorry, was that damage or hit? I could, I didn't. That one was to hit, so a nat 20 and oh. then a 17 to hit. Okay, the 17 does not. Cool. The critical hit will deal 11 points of damage. Alright, so 6 damage. Alrighty, Ruski. It is Fania. Yeah, now I got two people to heal, which is the problem for me. 
<laughs> um, I'm going to hope that this is a little metagamey, but I'm hoping because Amara's had advantage, she already rolled one save, so she can go for, like, both of them are, I'm hoping, are fine. But I think I want to get Mal up first. So I'm going to healing word Mal for my bonus action. Thank you, friend. Raise my hand and say, and he is like my better friend of the two. <laughs> Not to play favorites. <laughs> <laughs> say rise uh, in Vania's voice. Um, oh, I rolled so bad, though. You get five HP. <laughs> I'll take rise. it. I'll take it. <laughs> Hopefully horizontal into one. Just rise. rise. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I will take out my javelin. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah. it's not gonna be good, but I need yeah. I need to use some kind of action economy here, and I'm gonna chuck it at the one that's uh, uh to the south of Mal, I guess. Okay. I don't know where south is on this map. Oh, of course, uh, I rolled a six. <laughs> there goes my javelin. Whew. Six is not <laughs> it. <laughs> As you go to throw this javelin, and it actually hits outside of the door, about right there, so. It's like I'm not trained to do that nonsense. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> Shillelagh is a freaking bonus action. I need to do that to keep people up right now. Uh, so that is Fania's turn. All right, Mal, as you uh, get pierced and expect to drop, you feel this, uh, this healing come over your body and are able to stabilize yourself before falling. <clears throat> Okay, boys. Let's get to killing. Um, we're gonna go for Western Red Brand. That is a eighteen to hit. That'll hit. <laughs> How's a maximum damage of eleven piercing to him feel with necrotic? Oh, with delayed. a necrotic of two. How do you kill this red brand? We're just, um, I think Mal, um, as he started to drop, just as he's coming up, hamstrings the guy with the swipe of his spear, um, and doesn't even look at him as he's bleeding out on the ground, turning to the other uh, guy that's next to him to do a- another flurry of blow. I wish I would roll better on that. One's an 18 again. The other one is a 15. Both of them will hit. Okay, okay, okay. This is still my necrotic die. Three necrotic damage. That is... 16. Holy crap. Uh, 16 bludgeoning damage with the flurry of blows. All right, how do you kill this red brain? Um, this is, again, <laughs> Mal is not thinking anymore. Just like hamstrings that guy, um, stands up, fully just like snaps the other guy's neck. And um, now <laughs> I, I still don't want to go into like end in the, cr the necrotic ground. But I think I'm going to take the risk and just start uh, making my way over to this last guy. I'm just like, you really picked the wrong group to mess with today. All right. Uh, Mal, or sorry, Shadow still fighting with these two red brands here. Uh, this one will take two, two little swings at you. Two little ones. Just, just little, little babies. Ones. Just little baby swings. A 20, dirty, and I mean, a 6. I healed him so little, he's going to go down for the first one anyway. No, that's this me. That was against Shadow. Oh, that's against Yeah, yeah, that's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, then 20 I'll, hits. I'll let Shadow go down. Let's the 6 was a... <laughs> <laughs> I also can't Action economy. I don't think I can see the other guy, because I can see one guy, and I think he already attacked you. Yeah. Uh, that so. is 6 damage. Oh, 3 damage. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, All yes, right. yes. 
Um, and as that one is stabbing at you, uh, kind of in the side, the other one goes to stab you as well. Just a little stabby stab. Over there. Who's stabbing me? Uh, the one to the south. The one to the west just stabbed he, you. Now the one to the uh, south. He's initiative nine. It's the I one to that. the south of me that's next. Oh, sorry. Yep, you're right. I mean, same difference. Just a different person being stabbed. Yeah. Where's okay, we did damage. Order? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Uh, it's the the cross swords on the yeah toolbar uh, to the right. Uh, so this will be at Mal I've then for a yeah. sorry an eight, which will miss, is... and a seventeen. Seventeen is my armor class. Um, oh, silver barbs this one. All right. <laughs> A <laughs> nat 20. <laughs> uh, okay. I'll take the lower. I'll give advantage to Mal for his worth death save. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and I said it's how much necrotic damage? It's a 1d4 of necrotic. 1d4. Uh, that'll be five damage to you. That's exactly how much health I had. <laughs> yep, I rolled min on my heal. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Everything's no. fine. Sounds good. It's not. Okay. Everything's awesome. <laughs> I'm not right. fine. I'm not fine. Amaris, death saving throw, please. Just get a nat 20. Easy. Yeah, just nat get a nat 20. As you continue <laughs> dropping to the ground, the smell of your bakery Continue back home. To the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Just in a slow mo fall this entire time. <laughs> Everyone else is in normal speed. <laughs> exactly. like, what the fuck is going on with this chair? <laughs> <laughs> I. Oh, okay. I see. <laughs> Private GMO. That's how I roll it. I already did that. Okay. The and Shadow will go ahead and move on to you while Amaris is doing that. Okay, so I'll I'll, I'll um, ignore the guy to my uh, west and just start uh, hammering on the interloper. Um, a uh, twenty-three. Twenty-three will hit. Okay. Uh, I do that correctly. <laughs> Also, to clarify myself, when I say continue dropping, I imagine um, when you're making death saves that you're not you're not dead, but instead you can catch yourself on the ground and then fall and then, you know. So that's that's how I imagine it anyway. No, I'm uh, in slow mo. <laughs> I'll do shampoo hair commercial type thing <laughs> going on. That's fair. I'll do uh, 13 bludgeoning damage to him and then knock him uh, one square to the uh, east as I like swing around with my fist for a hook. Better yet, how do you kill him? Uh, uh, yeah, so I swing around and I nail him in the, the side of the face. He's probably not expecting that I'm going to pay attention to him. And then he just like knocks down and hits his head on the corner of the table. <laughs> just a silent, awful drop. Uh, and then I bonus action, second win. Alright. Brutal. I love it. For 10 Brutal. HP. Ooh, that's a very nice second wind. <laughs> I rolled a nine. <laughs> All right, and if nothing Ooh. else, Fania. He he he. Oh. Uh, <laughs> people need to stop going down. No, I am get two more to go down. <laughs> I tried. I, I, tried. I know. I, I, down I know. Now. I saw Ma Mal fall, but I'm am worried about um. Amaris, especially because she's laying in the blight right now. Uh, so I will once again reach my hand down and say, Rise and heal Amaris. <laughs> no! <laughs> I want to go back to bed! 7 <laughs> HP to Amaris. Dang it. And that's my spell slots, folks. <clears throat> um, mm -hmm. Good, good. I love that. You've been, you've done a lot of good here. <laughs> yeah, tr like, truly... <laughs> Well, I've wasted two spells essentially with Silvery Bar. <laughs> well, one I, the is, advantage like, is Silvery good. Bar to free, and then yeah. and then I had to use one of spell slot for it. I'm sure they both of them made good use of that advantage on their density. 
Uh, and I know Mars did just come up, but again, the panic is just setting in uh, to uh, Thania, and suddenly her nap, her neck just snaps, and like her joints begin to contort and crack as bones begin to like stick out of her elbows, uh, and she's gonna wild shape into a giant wolf spider. Ooh. I, know, I might need to get up in the mix. I know there's only two left, but <laughs> I am worried. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to turn into a giant wolf spider. Um, my size is the same, so we don't have to worry about that. And my movement is 40 feet, so I'm going to spider walk my way in there. 5, 10, 20. Walk right up to this red bear and, and like, just this nasty blighted spider crawling up in there fangs bared ready to uh stab into this thing on my next turn <laughs> all right mal um i will not whisper it to you because as this nasty giant spider comes in mal picks himself up catches himself on the tip of his like with the tip of his spear Levers himself up with a nat twenty. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> with it, forward. with that advantage, one so singular hit point. <laughs> so rebar. <laughs> All right, very and cool. that's the start of my turn. So I'm going to take an attack on this dude. <laughs> also, I forgot. Um, we'll do it next combat, but technically when you guys fall, you should be adding one level of exhaustion every time. So we'll, we'll have to remember that for next time. Yeah. Um, that I mean, is it could in... still take place. <laughs> yeah, it's like a Red Bull. 18 to hit. 18 will hit. Still have necrotic. Um, YOLO, I'm gonna reroll that spear damage. Shit, shouldn't have done that because I got worse. Um, Six piercing, one necrotic. All right. And then take a single unarmed strike against him. Ooh, I don't think that's going to hit with a 13. 13 does hit. Ooh. Hoo. Much better. Eight bludgeoning damage. All right. How do you kill this red brand? Just... <laughs> Again, just like levers himself up, slices at him with this uh, spear um, and a like temple shot to fully kill him. And then just <laughs> um, seeing that Shadow mostly has this under control is just going to take a step behind um, him to give him a little bit of backup, but staying out of <laughs> combat range for the moment. <laughs> I, I trust even even with your uh, two levels of exhaustion now <laughs> that you <laughs> will be able to dodge out of the way if they skip flying. <laughs> uh, this last red brand is going to um, not do that, actually. He's going to disengage and begin running away. Amaris. Come to is just a spider standing over you, looking down at you. <laughs> just like branches coming out of its legs. I'm thinking Do I kill or do I sleep for info? <laughs> you know what? I'm angry. <laughs> <laughs> Can I see him from here? You only have 15 feet because you were prone. Wait. Or half your movement, I should say. Can I stand on the dead body? Yeah. <laughs> I'll even move it out of the way for you. Am I able to hit him from here? Um, I would say, with what I can see, uh, he would have three quarters cover. Plus five to his AC. Oh, 
Fuck it. We can't let you go. I am going to cast sleep. Okay. Roll the twenty foot radius. The damage, not damage. <clears throat> Somewhere where I can see, which is right here. 20, so it's 5, 10, 15, 20. And that's 5, the 8. I don't have that much on hand. Hey, Google. You can also type it into the chat. You just do backslash roll space oh. 5, d 8. I'm not the smartest. Uh, 23. I'm the smartest. <laughs> Alright. Uh, what does the sleep look like? <clears throat> you guys don't see anything or hear anything. But the guy running away hears Amaris whispering in his tiny little ear. <laughs> sleep. Alright, and as you do that, this red brand mid-run falls face first sliding against the ground and that is where we are going to conclude tonight's session thank you very much all for joining us uh please check my players out at their socials and we will see you next time